Today we have a real interesting and funky looking gaming headset, which is the Sonic G810. <gasps> yep, I know, not our usual type of headset. They are very colourful in that orange and pink blended colour tone. They don't really appeal to me, but personally I do think that these G810s are more aimed at a younger market based on their cutesy look. Let's go through a few of the features of the Sonic... I mean, sorry, Sonic... Sonic headphones. <sighs> First of all, this particular headset today has those big 50mm drivers. They are extendable upon the ear cups. Yes, a very unique concept. And they can be folded away nice and compact. Now, on top of the earphone drivers, we've got those on-show sprung wires extending all the way up into the headband. Which I've got to initially note that that headband, although it's got nice feeling material, there's hardly, if all, any type of padding. Look at that, it's way for thin. It's the same type of material covering those memory foam ear pads. Unfortunately, they can't be replaced. And one other thing is, what you guys don't know, is that we've been using this headset for the past couple of weeks. And after placing the headset up on our head, after 30 to 40 minutes, our ears actually do become quite hot and sweaty. Now the headset, yes, it certainly is really light. Again, very colourful when the headphones are on your head. But if you press this little button right here, to the rear left hand side of the drive unit, you can turn those RGB lights on. Wow, look at them. Really gives it a really pleasing PlayStation gaming aesthetic look. So in regards to those function controls, we've got features like the volume up and down, the power on and off, the LED light button, which also acts as your connectivity switch button. And right at the bottom here, We've got the microphone mute button, which can be somewhat annoying sometimes, as when you're in gameplay, if you press the mute button, you've got to wait for that voice notification before that mute option is activated. Now there is a few ways to connect this headset, so we've got three in total. Auxiliary, with the 3.5mm port, to the bottom left hand side drive unit, we have indeed supplied with a 3.5mm to 3.5mm audio cable, and they can also be connected through a 2.4GHz wireless connection, thanks to that very unique dongle that is supplied too. Now if you have a look at that dongle, we can simply unclip this part just here, and look, we've got a Type-C dongle, which can connect to your mobile phone or Android device. Now when it is connected, you'll get 7.1 surround sound, and when you connect the USB dongle, to say your PC or PlayStation, you'll get basic surround sound using that 2.4 GHz wireless connection. Now the G810 also hosts a 5.2 Bluetooth connection, so you should have no problem connecting to your mobile phone, it should be very swift to connect. And not only that, when you're using the microphone which is built in just here, on the drive unit, so note upon this headphone set, we don't have a usual type of conventional boom arm, and when testing out the microphone, well your voice pickup should sound a little like this. Ah, as you can see, we're gonna play The Last of Us. But you know what, instead of using the PS5 console, we've gone ahead and used the much older PS4 console. We've gone ahead and plugged in the dongle, and this is exactly what the microphone quality is going to sound like when this headset is indeed hooked up wirelessly. Yeah, yeah, my favorite game this, by the way. Ella, mess around with the fireflies, and I'll just climb this tree. You can do the rest. <laughs> Whoa, look. What? Fireflies. Good. I mean, real fireflies. Hit Ellie over the head with it. Hit off. Is that you, Bill? Is that you, Bill? No, it's me. It's Tinker Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. just get me. Yeah! Come oh. on. You could do better than that, Joel. Get your wooden stick and smack him over the head with it. <laughs> Boom! Quick death. And you know what, just to top it off, let's smash him over the head with a ball. Pretty dang! Pretty dang clan. Oh, this guy's got a tattoo as well, you know. Well, he did have a tattoo. Heads, shoulders, knees, and head. Oh. Heads, and head, head. Shoulders, knees, and toes. It's It's not dancing, Ella. Okay, is the mic actually on? Mike, 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 hello, Mike. It was, so the microphone. Okay, so the microphone's on now. One thing we did notice when watching a few video recordings back, 
when we did press the mute button and then deactivated it, because of that voice notification, we've got to wait a few seconds in order for that mute function to work. In regards to voice pickup, it's not too bad. Voice though, at times, did sound a bit muffled. And when it comes to latency, even though 3.5 milliseconds of latency really shouldn't be something you should be boasting about, we did watch those recordings back. We noticed that our lips were actually quite in sync. And yeah, there doesn't seem to be much, if all, any type of latency issues, weirdly. Now, as previously mentioned, when the headset is placed up in your head, yes, your ears do become rather hot. You do get some air vents to the top of each one of the drive units. You've got the Type-C charge port to the bottom. By the way, this headset would take two hours, 42 minutes to fully charge from flat. And again, we have indeed used these for over two weeks. And out of the 50 hours used, that is specified using 50% volume. And we did in fact get 19 hours use using 100% volume. So yeah, not too shabby. Now, although the Sonic G810 is compatible with most devices, unfortunately, with an Xbox, it will only work in a wide connection mode only. You can easily toggle between music and the gaming mode by pressing down the mute button on the left-hand side of the drive unit, notified with music mode and B play mode. What? B play mode. Oh, well, whatever she said. What did I even say? Now, both of these modes are unfortunately fixed. With the music mode, it's more bass orientated. So, for example, pop music, the sound is quite fine, but in regards to rock music and classical, well, the G810s will struggle to define different tones and depth. Nevertheless, I would say that they do perform quite well. Gaming is a bit better, mid-range enables in-game dialogue to be picked up more clearly. So for example, footsteps in gameplay, while using a PlayStation console, they sound real crisp. But if you're in the noisy room guys, because this headset doesn't have much if all any type of passive noise isolation, nor does it have any type of ANC modes, well you can certainly hear most of the noises around you. So you don't really feel locked into gaming, and the outside world, yeah, it's very much picked up. Now, function-wise, you can press those buttons on the left-hand side of the drive unit and, well, they're easily to blindly master. Again, I think they would be more preferable to place on the right side of the drive unit rather than the left. There's not much negative issues, really, with this headset. I would say that, again, the RGB lights really do stand out. They do make the headset pop. Really nice aesthetic look. I'm glad you can turn those lights off. Me, personally, I do think, again, that they are aimed at younger kids or teens. I do think that they will love the quirkiness of this headset, but when it comes to material on the ear pads, it's not too bad, but on the headband, it is really poor. They really need to change this design, guys, seriously. Not only that, I mean, I mean, for £60, that's 77 US dollars. Don't think that this is a bad headset. I think it really is unique. It does stand out. We do get an above average performance with them, using them both as a normal everyday headphone set and indeed as a gaming headphone set. Today we are going to rate them, well we're going to rate them a 7 out of 10. I would say that they're definitely worth taking a look and we have left a handy little link for you guys to check them out for yourselves in the video description down below. So if you have liked what you've seen within this review today, well why not take a gander and go get yours. While you're in that video description, guys, it means so much. Would please like and share this video just now. Sharing to Kevin. Not only that, please subscribe, will you? As every bit of support is very much needed. Bearing in mind all to hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all our new uploads. Now, if you want to see some of our previous gaming headsets, well, here's one of our previous unboxings shown on screen just now. There it is. Click it if you want. Or if you want to wait for this next one. Yeah, there it is. Click it. But if not, I hope to see you guys on our very next video. Peace.